Hey folks, Ray Hollister here for Ray's drive Through Reviews. And I just wanted to do a quick kind of impromptu video. I wasn't prepared at all to do this. I'm not technically even going through a drive through although this restaurant does have a drive through but we're in the middle of moving to our new house. And of course, anytime you move to a new house, at some point you have to buy pizza, right? I mean, it's just the tradition. So anyways, I ran over to Little Caesars to grab a few cheese and pepperoni pizzas, you know, the cheap $5 items. And I saw that they have a special and I figured I had to do a video for you. So the special is this soft pretzel crust pizza. Now the pictures look amazing. I'll throw a picture up here from the marketing material. It looks incredible, right? I mean, yummy, chewy, salty, deliciousness, right? So I just picked it up and I've got it here in the car with me. There you go. So we'll take a look and see what it looks like. See that? That is nothing what it looks like in the marketing material. But you know, hey, I'll give them a break. It was $6 for the whole pizza, right? So let me try and get a slice here and I'll tell you what it tastes like. All right, so here we go. That's what it looks like. See there, it does have some salt on the crust and it looks like they're using a couple of different types of cheeses here with the pepperoni. Give it a taste and see what it's like. Okay, so it's very greasy, first of all. Uh, I'm not sure what cheese they're using, but I think it's a, a bit oily. That's making it a little, little less than optimal. Uh, of course, you know, mozzarella is really the perfect cheese for pizza, and anytime you put any other cheese on it, unless you got a good five cheese blend, it's never going to be that good. Okay, so the main part of the pizza itself, the toppings, they weren't so great. They're using the soft yellow cheese, like maybe Velveeta. I know, I'm scared. But definitely it looks like some cheddar on there, uh, making it more like a nacho cheese, you know, like you would dip a pretzel in. I see where they were going with that, but it doesn't make a good combination of flavors. Now I just got to the crust, so I'm actually gonna try that now and see what it's like. It certainly doesn't look as good as it does in the pictures. Okay, I'll give them points for creativity and for effort. Uh, it was a good idea in theory, but it didn't work out in practice. The flavor combinations just don't work. It doesn't taste right. The pretzel crust, I mean, it does taste like a pretzel, but it tasted like a wilted, dried up pretzel that had been on the rack for a while. So maybe I just got a bad one. I'm not sure, but eh, it's okay. I I'd give it a six. Yeah, for the price, you can't beat it. I mean, six bucks for a whole pizza, that's not bad. But I think I'll be sticking to the pepperoni and the cheese pizzas at Little Caesars. Good try, guys, but yeah, no dice. So there you have it. The Little Caesars soft pretzel pizza is a resounding meh. Oh, and hey folks, before I go, I wanted to let you know, if you don't already know, I am doing a crowdfunding campaign to raise money to go to Japan to buy a burger. It's the Burger King Koru Diamond and Koru Pearl burgers. They're these black burgers. They're absolutely amazing. Check out the link below. And if you could chip in five bucks to help me fly to Japan to buy a burger so I can review it here on Ray's drive Through Reviews. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it on YouTube and make sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube to hear more of Ray's drive Through Reviews. I'm Ray Hollis. Master.